So have you guys ever plugged up your PC to an amplifier and you get this noise? Well, recently I encountered just that, and it's actually pretty odd. It didn't happen on my laptop, only happened on my desktop computers. It only happened on this amplifier. So if you're in a situation, I'll show you how to correct that. So that's what we're talking about. All right, so before we go on, let me put this into context, why I have this set up like this. I had these speakers and I wanted to have some type of decent hi-fi audio for my computer games. So I built these speakers and a subwoofer Got all this set up and went through a couple of amps and I finally came to this one because I thought this amp for the price sounded the absolute best. Okay, so real quick before we get back into the video, remember everything in this video I have in the description and my pinned comment below with my affiliate link. So if you guys like any of this stuff and you want to purchase it for your own personal needs, please use my link below. It helps grow my channel and I can continue making these videos for you because everything I do, I don't fluff it. I don't give it any good reviews unless I like it personally. So that's one thing you can expect from my channel is honesty. But it definitely has a little less grounding in, than your typical surround sound amplifier because I had a surround sound amplifier uh, that didn't make that noise, but this one had this noise when hooked up to the computer. So I just wanted to put that in context. First, I know someone's gonna say, well, it's a pile, so it's a pile of crap, so that's probably why it sounds that way. Well, I did have a, a Pile 5.1 surround side amplifier. It didn't do it, but this one sounds, in my opinion, way better than that one for less money. 130 bucks, pretty hard to beat. So that's why we're to this point right now. So what I wanna show you is, I have it hooked up to the auxiliary one, which is this guy right here, and it's coming off the laptop. So if I were, and you can see right here, I have a mic going to that speaker so you can hear it. Now, if I were to just move this, you can hear that's making, so I'm saying it is definitely no noise when it's hooked up to your laptop. So let me go ahead and plug it up to the desktop. And this did um, both my desktops, with this amplifier. So it has to be something to do with a GPU or some type of noise in the computer that this guy right here is not liking compared to uh, this laptop right here. Okay, so I'm gonna plug it up to the headphones out, which is good enough to illustrate this issue and listen. We have our noise and that is super annoying, right? So we go ahead and unplug it and you'll watch. It will immediately stop. Gone. So I watched a lot of videos and mainly what I saw was like people who were doing studio monitors and mixing with professional dads and all that stuff were the main reason why these guys had computer noise. Well, I'm more using mine for PC gaming and just some good audio. And so my issue was a little different because I don't think they make a headphone out that's a really true balanced cable. I got the best cables and I was able to get this guy to work but not get the hum out completely. And I'll show you guys that in a little bit. And what these guys talked about was changing, you know, your connection to a different outlet and moving them around. I tried all that. It did absolutely zero for me. And then I tried what I could, what I could find was the closest to a balanced cable as far as 3.5 out to RCA. And like I said before, that didn't work. Let me show you what came in a close second, but I was able to get all the noise completely removed with this last mod that I'll show you after this. So let me go ahead and plug this up to the back of the computer. Okay, so we have it in the back of the computer. You can see we're coming on out. Now, what I have going on over here, this is a ground loop isolator. This is basically what you would use typical car, car audio stuff, which I have a lot of stuff left over. So I tried this, because you can plug this into the back, even with these super nice cables coming from your computer into the back of the amp and the RCAs where this is going, and it did absolutely nothing. The sound was just as bad. Actually, it sounded like the noise is a little bit louder with these guys as opposed to this guy right here coming out the headphones out. Maybe that's because it's a different spot in the computer. But if I take these and plug them up with this, you'll see the noise is almost gone. Let me make sure we're going to the sound card. And sound card speakers right there. So now, if we hit the volume, here we go. You see, we're going through this. Just so you guys know, we're going through this right here. If I unplug it, you can see no sound. As long as we're going through that ground loop isolator, we get rid of 
almost all of that computer noise. Now you may say it might be a ground loop issue, but I just don't think it is because a ground loop issue is more of a hum and humming noise. This is a very distinct PC DAT type noise I've heard in the past too. So now let me show you what the complete fix is. I got rid of all the noise. So if you look, this amplifier does have a optical input. So what's that optical input going to do? It's going to completely break any electrical connection because it's optical connection that's going to be sending your audio out to the amplifier. So that way there's no ground loop, no computer noise, nothing that can give you that weird effect or hum that an electrical cable can give you. And since this was only happening on my desktop, I was able to purchase a sound card that had a optical out and that completely eliminated all the interference, ground, hum, whatever that was going on and it's perfectly clean now. Let me demonstrate. So I have the mic pointed directly at the speaker so we can hear any hiss or any noise that it might be. I'm gonna go to the computer now and change it to optical. All right, make sure we're on optical here. We're on optical. Let's just double check. Yeah, we're on the interface card. So now when I hit the volume, you'll notice I barely have this turned up. So the output from that optical is a really hot signal. And we've pretty much eliminated all the noise. Well, that's it. Hopefully this information can kind of point you in the right direction how to get rid of all that computer noise or hum on your setup. And I definitely think that optical output, at least for stereo, is just the way to go. I'm not a big like, you know, surround sound guy. I just like my left and right and my subwoofer. So I have my good mids and highs, and then I had the boom, boom, down in the boom box subwoofer, because that's kind of how I liked it. And this amplifier, I know some people are gonna poo poo it because of the pile, but it's actually pretty darn good. I know it's not like some audio file high grade stuff, but for my PC and having a nice cheap, you know, sound system that can really get down, I think it does a job pretty well. And I know some of you guys are going to see that studio monitor thing in there and be pretty pissed off that I included that in the title. But it is what it is. Hope it helps you guys out too. Peace.